Hey everyone, this is Jim Lewis with Pure Life Ministries. You're about to hear part of our bi-weekly podcast, Purity for Life. Hope you enjoy. As director of the Wives Program for Pure Life, Carol Bork deals with the issue of bitterness in the lives of women who have been devastated by the betrayal of their husband's sexual sin. Their pain leads to anger, resentment, and finally to bitterness, an unwillingness to forgive. She dealt with it in her own life and now walks women into the life-giving freedom of repentance and forgiveness. In this interview with Brooks Popwell, she tells how the Lord makes that possible. Carol, one of the things we talked about a lot in the last episode was how bitterness and unforgiveness can come so naturally to a wife whose husband has been involved in sexual sin. I mean, it just seems so normal to feel this way. I would imagine she could feel justified in it. So really briefly, can you recap for us from the last episode why bitterness and unforgiveness is actually very dangerous? This is a huge uh, issue, I think, for most women, and I know firsthand all about bitterness and unforgiveness. And the reason it's so dangerous is not only does it impede our relationship with the Lord, but bitterness is defiling by nature. And the writer of Hebrews said that bitterness defiles many. So it is a big deal. Okay, well, with that as a starting point, what is the first step a wife should take when she wants to turn this around and reverse this reality of bitterness and this unforgiveness? Well, there's only one way to do that, Brooks, and that is to cry out to the Lord and to turn from sin, which it is, and turn to God, and that is what repentance is, and it's absolutely wonderful. When I think about that process of starting to turn it around and move toward forgiveness, I can imagine several fears and questions a wife might have. One of them being, what if he does it again? I mean, I'm sure you've heard that one before, and what is your reaction to that question? Well, that's another biggie, Um, but my response to her is that forgiveness is not based on a guarantee, but it's based on a command in God's Word. The bottom line is there are no guarantees that your husband is not going to sin against you again, but if a wife withholds that forgiveness from her husband, then she is hindering her relationship with the Lord and and also the possible restoration with her husband. So for this woman, she again needs to cast herself on Jesus, looking to him, trusting him, relying on him, and I don't mean to say this tritely, but if it happens again, it happens again. Um, The Lord is very aware of it. The Lord knows what your husband's up to, and it doesn't give us a pass to say, I choose not to forgive him. For the woman who really is looking to Jesus to be her husband, Um, and she's trusting him with her life, and she's looking to him, again, to meet her needs and to satisfy those deep needs that she has and fulfill her, even if her husband isn't, it's much easier for that one to forgive and move on without being paralyzed in fear that it's going to happen again. Okay, well, thinking again of questions wives may have, for the wife who wants to do this but really feels like, yes, I know I should forgive him, but I just can't. What do you say to someone who's in that place? Well, first I would say to her, it's not that you can't. You know, it's that you are choosing not to, and you won't. Um, But I would also tell her that forgiveness is not based on our feelings. Uh, It's it's based on a a command, as I said before, but it's also choice to forgive that person. But 
you know, the Lord himself gave us a command in Matthew, and he said, if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive you. And who of us does not want the Father's forgiveness? Um, Those were very sobering words to me um, from the one who said, I can't forgive. Um, And the reality was, I didn't want to forgive, or, you know, I won't forgive. And one final question I thought about relates to the fact that we so often hear you've got to, quote-unquote, forgive and forget. But I'm wondering how much truth there really is to that statement, because, man, that's got to be really hard to forget something that is that devastating and painful. So again, if a wife is wanting to do this, wanting to go down the path of biblical forgiveness, but she's not so sure about that forgetting part, is that a realistic goal, or is it even possible? And what does that look like? Well, I think I have to say, first of all, that, you know, biblical forgiveness is hard. In fact, it's impossible, apart from Jesus. Um, You know, it requires us fully releasing our offender. And in essence, it's like we're taking on or bearing that sin of the other person, as well as the consequence on ourselves. Um, You know, but when we think about Jesus and we understand that that's what he did for us, then we look at the one who Isaiah called the man of sorrow, and there's no other way but to just keep looking at Jesus. That's all I know to tell you that I did. I just continued to look to him. Um, The forgetting part, well, I don't know that you ever really forget that or what happened, um, but I know that the sting of that situation isn't as painful when you are truly forgiving that person and as the Lord takes you deeper and deeper into a relationship with himself. I think what the wife needs to remember is that the Lord himself has allowed this painful situation to come into her life, you know, for many reasons. Um, Some of them, I think, are to possibly shake us out of spiritual apathy, um, maybe to draw us closer to himself. I I know that he uses it to purge us of our own sin, and he also uses it to transform us into the image of Jesus. And lastly, I think... I also think he uses it for others. None of it is wasted if we learn how to trust Jesus. Thanks for listening. You can find Purity for Life on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Or just go to our website at purelifeministries.org slash podcast.